Hey there, welcome to my next YouTube video. So this one we're going to do is cover an important topic uh, that all parents should know about. It's called the YouTube Kids Parental Controls. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview. Now, why is this important? Is because there are so much content on YouTube these days, uh, and a lot of it is actually quite harmful. Certain things go on in the world, and it gets uploaded to YouTube. Now, our kids are on them all the time, right? They've got their own devices, iPads, iPhones, Androids, you name it, they've got them. Now, the problem is, YouTube does, you know, censor a lot of the stuff, but it can take them 48 hours, even longer sometimes, to actually pull down some very graphic videos. I remember recently there was a, a video of a man shooting himself on a YouTube video. It was on uh, all sorts of different social media, and it took them nearly a week to be able to pull all the videos down because people go ahead and share them. So when you have parental controls, you can control all of that stuff. You can control what they're watching, what's actually eligible, and if it's on YouTube Kids, it's even safer as well. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview. Now. Before I go ahead and show you the overview of what the parental controls is and what it can actually do for you and sort of how you set that up, is I'm going to recommend you watch my next video as well. So my next video, you will see that in the description below, and at the end of the video you'll see a couple of icons pop up where you can go straight to that video, and that's going to show you how to set up parental controls and how to actually set up certain things on your YouTube to, to basically give you more control over it. So that's the setting up. This is an overview. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Let's get stuck into it. Here we are in the YouTube Kids mobile app. First, let's take a look at some of the options available on screen. On the left side of the app, you see a clock icon that will show previously watched videos on YouTube Kids. And then if I tap Home, it'll take me back to my home screen. Next, at the top left, you see a giraffe with sunglasses. That is a YouTube Kids profile. What this means is that a parent can set up a different profile with different settings and permissions for each child who may watch YouTube Kids. The heart icon is recommended videos based on watch history and YouTube Kids searches. The popcorn is TV shows available on YouTube Kids. The directional arrows allow users to explore content on YouTube Kids. The music note provides songs and music videos. And the light bulb displays videos that are for learning. Finally, on the right, the magnifying glass takes you to a search where children can use voice search or typing to search for videos they're interested in. Finally, at the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll see a lock for parental controls. We're going to tap the lock and explore the parental controls available in YouTube Kids. When parents go to access the parental controls, they'll be asked to enter a random four-digit code. You'll notice the number of words on the left and the digits on the right. Parents also are able to set their own custom passcode by tapping Set My Own Passcode. In the settings, first we'll look at the timer by tapping Timer, and this will allow parents to set a time limit for a viewing session on YouTube Kids, anywhere from 1 minute to 60 minutes, and the app will lock when that timer expires. Next, we'll tap on the Settings cog, and here we see the Google account that is associated with YouTube Kids. And what I want to look at is the section that says My Kids. As mentioned earlier, you can have a separate viewing profile with custom settings for each child who may use YouTube Kids. I'm going to tap on My Child, and then I'll be asked to enter my Google password to customize that child's settings. Once I enter my Google password, I'll get to the settings screen for this child. At the top right, I can tap the three dots that will allow me to delete this child's profile if I no longer need it. At the bottom right, I can tap the plus sign icon to create a new profile for a different child. Scrolling down, I can turn on or off searching. So this would allow or not allow my child to search for videos and content that they are interested in. I can clear their viewing history so this would remove all recommendations and searches. Finally, I can pause my child's watch history. If I pause my child's watch history, the videos they watch and the searches they do will not generate new recommended videos until I turn that back on. When I'm finished, I can just back out of this setting. Now that I'm back on the YouTube Kids main page, 
I'll take a look at a few videos here, and you'll notice next to each video there are three dots. If I tap the three dots, that will allow me to block this video so that it is no longer available for my child to view. I'll be asked to enter my passcode one more time, and then I'll see a notification that the video has been blocked. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. That's a quick overview of what the YouTube Kids Parental Control is and how it works and everything there, so you can sort of see why it's important, and it's pretty simple to set up. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Help me out. Subscribe so you can see more videos just like this on how to keep your kids safe online and other subjects. We're also going to be covering different parental apps that you can actually use on the phones to monitor your children far, far better than any of these parental controls give you the ability to. Also, go ahead and hit the bell icon. That's going to allow you to make sure you're notified for my next video. And please, like the video, share it, send it around, get this out there. It needs to be seen by as many people as possible. All right, I'll see you in the next one.